Hey everybody, Jared with Second Life Design. Um, do another follow-up video to my new Alaskan mill. Uh, I did a video a week ago, two weeks ago, on the new um, Alaskan mill that Granberg sent me. Again, the, the, I am a brand ambassador for them. They sent me the product, did not pay for it. Um, I'm just giving you my honest opinions and what it looks like and how I think it's gonna help me. So, um, this video I'm gonna cover the Alaskan winch. I got the winch mounted. Um, it went on really quick, really easy. Um, their style of construction is really great. It's really easy to mount things and it's uh, just really strong and intuitive. Works really well. So um, my previous brand of mill um, did not have a provision for a winch. Uh, I could have you know, modified one on there and that would have been a, you know, like an aftermarket boat winch kind of thing. Really heavy, kind of clunky, like a ratcheting kind of like a boat winch. Um, my old mill was, was made of steel. It was heavy as is. The idea of adding more weight to it didn't really seem too appealing. So I never really went with it. I just kind of muscled the slabs through there. I'm hoping, um, what everyone's telling me is that with this winch, it's gonna make life a little bit easier, not as much pushing, not as much effort required. So that's my hope. Um, I got it mocked up on my bench with the, um, the bar for the end and the, how it loops through and all that. So I'll do a quick rundown of it and show you the construction a little bit and we'll kind of go from there. So just keep following along and we'll see what we can get done. Ken, you want to talk about an Alaskan winch? Okay, me too. So this is the Alaskan winch, as its name implies. Um, I believe this is a patented item through Granberg. Um, calling this a winch is, it, there's no real ratcheting mechanism to it. Um, it's just a spool that you're controlling. I mean, it, it will free spool one way or the other. It is the tiniest little twine that's on here. Um, I mean, I you know, it feels really strong and durable, but it is not a, like a, it's hard to say, call it a rope even. It's more like a, a twine or a string, but um, I imagine there's not a ton of force uh, exerted here, so I'm not super worried about it. Um, the winch mounts the same way as everything else did, just with the carriage bolts in their T-track, and just tighten her down there. So it goes on really quick, really easy. Um, this should be a no-brainer mod for anybody that's buying a new mill. Just get this as well. It'll make things life a lot easier. So you start right here. Um, you, I got it mocked up in my workbench, but you can kind of get an idea for it. So this pole is what you mount this to the bottom of your log. Um, it's, it comes with deck screws. You kind of zip it in there and get it all level and all that. Um, I think this ball is meant to keep, you know, if the face of the log is right here, it's going to keep it so you're not pulling this flat all the way against the log. So it get, keeps a little bit of an angle on it. I'm sure that helps. So, um, yeah, kind of rough mock-up. That's what its intent is. So you loop the carabiner through there, take it all the way back down. You mount another ball right here, and this just slides over it. So really quick, really easy. Um, I can't imagine that... Mounting this thing takes a whole lot of time. So, you know, I mean, as far as adding setup, you're, you're talking, um, you should be able to, um, if you mount that low enough, you should be able to go through almost all your slabs without having to move it or do anything to it. And maybe there's some adjustment to it. I did, like anything else, I did not read the instructions, so I'm just winging it, but should work pretty intuitively. Shouldn't add a lot of time. It, it adds next to no weight, which I'm really happy about. I, I uh, overall, this, this mill is a lot lighter anyway, but it's not any heavier with that winch on it. I know that. So, pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'll be able to stay on the throttle and hopefully get some, maybe some smoother cuts because I'm not doing like the sawing motion, the back and forth with the mill, trying to get through it. So, you know, keep nice, even pressure and just kind of let the winch do its work. Um, everybody raves about it. So, we'll finally give it a shot. Hopefully, I'll do some milling done this week and we'll see what it does so i'll post a follow-up video but that's the first that's getting it mounted and how it all works um, any questions drop me a comment below uh, please hit the like the comment the subscribe buttons those really help me um, any anything else find me on instagram at second life design and thank you